And now we're at the end of the game. Come on, I can't wait to see what they did with the final boss. Well, they threw in something else. Uh, horribly mangled English. Get ass unlimited? Yeah. Mm. Anyway, as you might be able to guess from that, you can sl air slide as many times as you want now with that. No, that's nice. <laughs> and yet we still don't need it because we can just gravity. <laughs> get that last M tank. For this you need it though. Uh, yes, it looks like you need it. Yeah. Well, that's so nice that one's... Gimmick. Yeah, that one's tricky because you have to do short little things. But also we can infinite charge kick so we can skip all that stuff. <laughs> nice. Okay, shell plus sweet, huh? So let's yep. get to the meat of it. Basically. So the Wily tank. The best thing to do is to stay on the left because he has that ramming attack. <laughs> Whoa! Other than that, he fires a bunch of missiles and then sucks them back. Oh, and you have to remember where he fired them? Yeah. I would never be able it's to nice do little it. thing. And he fires the blue ball, which splits into bullets. But with Napalm Bomb doing two damage, it's pretty easy. Easy enough with his weakness, yeah. That's yeah. a good thing. So I guess you so, won't beat Ken? Uh, I'm not gonna use it this time. Just because I don't think that's fair for the final <laughs> fight. Okay, so did he make it interesting? Yeah, he has more than just one attack, even though he just uses this one for right now. Okay. Um, the good thing about it is that no matter where he is, you'll have at least four or five weapons that'll be able to hit him. Yeah, I can kind of see the difference to the original. <laughs> yeah. Kind of. And uh, whoa, whoa, all of them except whoa. for Napalm Bomb and uh, Gravity Hole do at least two damage to him, so... Gravity Hold does damage to him. Oh. Yeah. That's... Gravity Hold doesn't do that much damage since it's, it hits everywhere and has 28 ammo, so you can usually... Even if you have full ammo, you can kill a boss with it, but otherwise... Uh, Good enough. Some bosses are just immune to it. And he so, is... Yeah. So this attack is kind of tricky because lasers everywhere and you can't go past those things because they'll mm -hmm. just follow you. At least it's telegraphed enough. You know? Yeah. Charge Kick actually does 3 damage, so oh. it is actually a good weapon to use if he gets down on your level. Okay, that's nice. Yeah. But it definitely looks like, you know, a fight. <laughs> <laughs> As opposed to just, I'm here, lasers, and then leave yeah. over and over this for like 100 This times. just reminded me of um, the Black Devil of Mega Man X5. Uh. So I've hit him with everything else, so I'm gonna finish him <laughs> off with Super Arrow. But first gotta weaken him a little bit, because I'm not gonna sit there forever and for Super Arrow to take the sweet time. Oh, you spoiled the plan. But we, we would have seen it now anyway. Yeah. Better dodging now, huh? <laughs> uh -huh. And, and that's, that's the that. end of him. So I guess nothing else has changed? Um, there's the music, which I don't know why this music is appropriate. Hmm. <laughs> it's like, oh, there's that wacky Wily again. Him and his... Well, the cutscene is wacky enough. Yeah. Also, I like the little jingle. <laughs> <laughs> so, the rest, the rest of it's unchanged, so I guess we could talk about what you think of the hack and what I think of the hack. Yeah, to me, uh, I haven't played it yet, but um, I guess if I'm bored at some point, I really want to check it out, because especially the Roadmaster stages and a few proto stages, those last few not that much, but uh, the ones before they left a really good impression. It looked really, mm -hmm. really well done, uh, with tons and tons of great ideas, that uh, gimmicks that didn't outstay the welcome, that were actually fun, and the whole premise of the Year's Night is a really, really good concept. Yeah. I gotta say the best thing about it is probably the bosses because I've had multiple people comment on how just interesting it is to watch. And it is pretty interesting to fight them as well. Even the really easy ones like Gravity or Stone still have their own gimmicks that make them pretty fun. Yeah, uh, I especially like that uh, they have a multitude of attacks which is also something I always liked uh, from the Zero bosses, which makes it uh, one of the best series uh, period in my opinion, if not the best, because the boss fights are so varied and have tons of attacks that they can use without any real tell uh, what you're, they're going to use next, so you cannot pattern lock them, but each attack has a specific way to dodge it, 
And this game's spa, uh, philosophy of boss design reminded me a lot of that, and that's also really good. Hmm. So they definitely did a lot of things right. Yeah. The only thing I don't like as much is probably the level design, which is kind of, uh... It's very schizophrenic, I'd say. There's a lot of, uh... There's several stages where the air slide is used in good ways and stuff like that, but there's a lot of them where there's just... You don't use need to use it at all, like Charge Man. Mm -hmm. yeah, you, a lot of sti you don't lot notice of... it a lot that it is like built around the air slide. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm kind of okay with that. That sometimes uh, the main gimmick does not like demand attention all the time, so that you can use it as a supplement, but it's not always there and like on every screen or something. Something. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, I mean, lots of games have those overpowering gimmicks. It, it, like in one stage, there is always going to be wind blowing in your face, or in another stage, you're always going to be shooting yourself around with cannons or something like that, and uh, it, it gets boring. And hmm. I, I do not like those kind of gimmicks that are always there. So it, it's it's nice that the air slide is optional at many points. Hmm, I see. The only other thing I don't really like is that there's just, like, you go in and most of it's easy, and then you get to Proto 3, which is a complete asshole of a level. Yeah, notice that. And then after that, and then you just get to the Wily stages, and there's just nothing. It's <laughs> yeah, it definitely ran out of steam, level design-wise. Um, yeah. Which is really a shame, but... Maybe you can forgive Capcom's designers more if even rookie designers like him, which who, who do a far better job than the normal designers did at the rest of the game, ran, run into the same problem. So yeah. I don't know what it is. Maybe uh, it's just you shouldn't design the game in chronological order. Like you go from the first stages to the last in mm. the, the order you design them. Maybe you should start with the first stage. To make it have a good impression, and then you should do the last stage to make it have a lasting impression. Yeah. And then kind so of anyway, try and flesh out the middle. Yeah. Oh, so anyway, I'd like to thank all my guests for being with me in this. I'd like to thank Dectalon for uploading his no-hit Mega Buster runs. Those are great, and you rock. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to thank you, Simon, for having for having this in your thread, and I'd like to thank you, the viewer, for watching. I'll thank you for having this in my thread, and yeah, this was bye -bye. also great fun. Bye-bye, everybody.